Alright, so now I'm going to show you my new netbook. It's the ASUS EEE PC1000. Uh, it's got an Intel Atom processor, 1.6 uh, gigahertz from the factory, but I've overclocked it to 1.8. It's got one book button overclocking. It's really neat uh, if you're actually doing something, you know, um, that you need more PC or more uh, CPU on, or you can slow it down for power save. It's got about a seven hour battery life. So here it is. And if you can tell, it's a, got a 10 inch screen with a 95% uh, keyboard, and it's got a nice little touchpad there. I mean, there's my hand compared to this thing. And next to my desktop, this is next to my desktop um, monitor. Uh, it's really, really tiny. Uh, and I'll put a book next to it. Uh, let me find one first. Here's Jacob's quantum physics book next to it. I mean, closed, it's about the same size and it's about that thick at the thickest part of it when the book is that thick so and it also weighs about half of what a book weighs um, I think total it weighs about maybe two pounds and right now I've got some extra RAM on the way it's got one gig of RAM in it but I've got some ordered and right now I can't pick up Wi-Fi signal uh, in the dorms because uh, our university is stupid. Um, as you can see on here, I run the same setup. Uh, it's called Compiz by Linux. Uh, I've got some neat little widgets up here. It shows you. Um, this is my CPU monitor, or this is my CPU monitor, and this is my battery meter. As you can see, I've got n almost six hours left at 90% battery, which I'm not really doing anything right now. So, but still, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, compared to most um, notebooks and stuff, um, I've got all the same applications as the other one, minus uh, Microsoft Office. It's just too big to really hold on here, even though I have 40 gigs of um, hard drive space. So I really don't want to take it all up. Um, I have this neat little program called Dropbox that uh, I have the same effects on this desktop as the other one. You can see wobbly windows and the fire effect. Um, all that, but uh, this new little program called Dropbox. I can put all my folders and all my files in here from school. Like if I'm working on this during class, like this is my class notes right here from computer science, and this is a, a project I was working on uh, for one of my other classes. And here's a storyboard for a video I have to make. But uh, I just upload it in here, and then as soon as I get Wi-Fi signal or any sort of internet, it uploads it to all my computers. So my Vista desktop and my uh, Linux desktop on my, my main computer is synced with this one and it always syncs the most current version so you're always good to go. Um, and you see the fire effect is a little bit slower. Some of the neat features is right here you can see it's got little four little buttons. Uh, this first one is uh, overclocking the processor. Let me see if it'll the camera will adjust to that. See now it's on super and it'll, it'll take down some, some of my battery life but you know, if you're, and now it's on normal, and now it's on power save, which uh, underclocks it to just 1.0 gigs. Um, it saves battery life and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then I have one button Wi-Fi turned off and on. Uh, I turned it off. Now it's now it's back on. This one's this one right here is Bluetooth, and this one turns on my webcam. Uh, so it's pretty neat. Uh, I really enjoy it as well worth the four hundred dollars that uh, I spent on it so really really nice but um anyways that's my tiny tiny notebook in my huge huge desktop